Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we are doing a $900 gaming PC that'll run just about anything. And this video is sponsored by Deepcool. And we're gonna be taking a look at their new CPU cooler right here and gonna be putting it on a Ryzen processor just to show you how powerful this thing is. Big thanks again to Deepcool for sponsoring this build. They sent over this case and that cooler and the RGB fans to make a very clean PC. Definitely consider Deepcool for your next gaming PC build. Let's just not waste any more time and dive into this PC and see what we have in store. For the processor, we have the Ryzen 5 5600. So this is basically a stepped down version of the 5600X, basically just a lower clock speed, but that makes it cheaper. So instead of paying the $200 that the 5600X might be, you can get this one for usually 20 to 40 bucks cheaper. There's also the Ryzen 5 5500, but keep in mind, you do not get Gen 4 support. And so if you wanted to put this processor into this board and then that little M.2 right there, you know you want that Gen 4 SSD, it is not going to be working in Gen 4, it'll actually be Gen 3. So yeah, this is AMD's basically entry level Gen 4 processor. And now big thanks to Deepcool for sending this over. This is very overkill for this 5600, but you know, when we work with Deepcool, we like making these builds nice and budget because well, we're the budget pros. This is the AK620WH meaning white. So you can usually get this cooler in white or black, but hey, it looks very, very pretty. And on top of that, yeah, the, I split the label. You get two fans. So you actually have one sandwiched in here that I think looks super clean because well, you can barely see it. It's almost like it's not even there. And the all white fans with the all white cooler just looks super Super sick. So definitely big thanks to Deep Cool for that. And that's going to keep this thing incredibly cool. It does come with a stock cooler if you want to save some money, but we kind of opted, you know, to go with the big beefy air cooler for fun. Now for the motherboard, once again, for the Gen 4 support, we went with the Asus Prime B550 Plus. And also we just wanted to make sure we didn't have to do any weird BIOS flashing. You know, there's no reason to go with the B450. So X570, B4, B550, something along those lines will work great. But we got four RAM slots in this bad boy. We have two four pins for the CPU in case you want to go with the higher end CPU down the road. And on top of that, we have another NVMe slot. We got lots of PCIe lanes. So this is a really upgradable board and a really good amount of USB ports and everything as well. And it's always nice to have those features on a relatively cheap B550. <laughs> now for the RAM, of course, we had to go with some white color themed RAM. So we have this only 16 gig kit, so two sticks at eight gigs a piece, and on top of that, 3600 megahertz CL18, so pretty decent speeds and uh, you know, 3600 megahertz. So you get to overclock it using this beautiful board that can well probably go well over 4000 megahertz, no problems. And now, in all honesty, we ordered a Team Group MP33 one terabyte, which is a Gen 3 SSD, works really good, good speeds, but we don't know where it went. So we happen to have this. PNY Accelerate, and this is the CS3140, and this is a Gen 4 one terabyte NVMe SSD, so we get those extra fast Gen 4 speeds, and it just kind of makes sense. We have the setup for it. It doesn't cost them much more nowadays either, and, and I'm gonna guess that PNY probably sent this, so thanks if you did, and if you didn't, thanks for being around. Hi, hello. All right, funny thing is when we planned this build originally, it was about $950, but prices have dropped so fast on these graphics cards. They're about 300 bucks. This is the RX 6600 non-XT, pretty much the best value gaming card in the market right now. 300 bucks or less sometimes, eight gigs of RAM, VRAM, RAM, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's a gen four graphics card. It's going to play all the latest and greatest 1080p max settings and stretches some 1440p if you want to. Highly recommend this card. And it's going to pair great with that 5600. And in terms of the power supply we're going to be using to power that card and everything, else. Good old EVJ 600 GD. I think it's C tier. It's not a super high end power supply, but for a mid range build like this, pretty happy with the EVJ 600 GD. And we're going to make it look nice and clean with our favorite sleeve cables. Oh my goodness. Can I open this up without breaking the box? I always break the box. I'm breaking the box. The box <laughs> is breaking. Because honestly, I don't remember what color I got. I think I got black and white. I just got white. There you go. There's white sleeve cables because obviously we got a white theme going on here. And speaking of white, what we have right here is this uh, Deepcool CK500 WH because white. And then they also sent over these FC120 fans, three RGB fans. Um, we're just going to make this thing look as clean as possible. Deepcool sent over the case and everything to really match this beautiful tower cooler that's going to cool the 5600. And uh, I'm excited to build it and see how it performs. Let's do it.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting off with Apex and starting off good because we've already lost a teammate. Tisk, tisk, tisk. But anyways, we are at, I believe like medium, medium, little, little bit of low here in their settings. Uh, 97 by 1080p. Let's test this out. You can definitely, definitely raise the settings in this game. I would not be surprised if this could easily run at pretty much max settings 1080p and still get like 100 FPS. Bum, bum, bum. Movement. But yeah, it runs well at least. You got that going for you, but did yeah. Did this lady the rat queen? Never seen rats. Wow. Wow, he did more damage. <laughs> I can't Maybe believe you're it. trash. Maybe, dude. I <laughs> Let's go to the next Woo! one. Woo! All right, fun fact, you Fortnite gamers. Make sure your keyboard is fully this way when you're gaming, because it's just, it's just optimal. Fully 90 degrees. Uh, but yeah, we're running on performance, but pretty much all low settings just to see maximum FPS. And Fortnite is a game that confuses the heck out of me. Like, sometimes Sometimes on these low end systems it does better and then like here it like gets 60 fps we'll see what it's like when it's landing but i don't know man fortnite's just it's just weird the fps is still all over the place i don't know if it's amd hardware maybe amd is just weird for fort battle bus the battle bus is on the ground now oh can you use the tank and get him he's driving away that thing is armored af oh he blew up what is that okay i don't know what that was that was really weird hello Oh, Lord! What is that? In the water. Nothing happened. <laughs> ran out of gas in midair. Nice, good stuff. It was like using gas while floating. I don't really know. Gas oh, oh, Lord! What? Doesn't kill them instantly? Dang. Okay, well, does a lot of damage, I Their guess. Their name was Atomizer, funny enough. Ah, <laughs> you just been atomized, good sir. I got a better one for you. Railgun, you've just been railed. You've been railed, bro. Well, yeah, this is Fortnite. The FPS is weird. Okay, Fortnite, I'm done with you. Let's go to the next game. All right, guys, we now have Cyberpunk, and imagine that, we're actually gonna play the game this time, because I actually started playing it, and uh, I'm gonna drive like an absolute idiot. But yeah, we're running on, oh God, high settings. I don't think I can go that. You know what, we're just gonna do it. Um, yeah, it's playable. I mean, 60 FPS, this game is very pretty, especially on a, <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> especially on like a uh, nice like 4040p monitor. You definitely wanna lower the settings there, but this does come with Fidelity FX, so you can do the super sampling and try to get some uh, more frames. I'm like tailing this guy. Oh! <laughs> Sure, you want to do that? Uh, there's a warrant out for me now, and there's a cop right next to me. Here we go, baby. That's a big vehicle. That's a lot of steel. <laughs> Sorry, big man. <laughs> yeah, 60 FPS. Not too shabby. Oh. Oh, there's some more damage. You're like, you got like tech installed. This is like if Elon like ruled the world and you got implants <laughs> in your body. <laughs> <laughs> I, <can't even> <laughs> I swear this wasn't me. No, take that person's car. Oh no! <laughs> how do, oh, no damage. You, how how do now. these people look at you like this? But yeah, this is cyberpunk. This is all you do. You jump on these people. <laughs> jump attack. Oh! <laughs> oh god, he knows how to fight. <laughs> But yeah, this PC runs great, and that CPU is nice and cool. We are using, we are utilizing up to like 80% of the CPU at times, so 50C is pretty solid. And uh, yeah, for a very demanding game, being able to play at 1080p, high settings, even ultra if you want to, pretty impressive. And uh, the last game we're going to run is, I believe we're just gonna go with Valorant. I was gonna run GTA, but I feel like this is very, much the same thing, but better, but better, newer. higher quality, newer. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and switch games. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Valorant. We are running at high settings. It's definitely a better experience than the HP Z station we tested the other day with the with the GT 1030. GT 1030. So, <laughs> so maybe I can I can actually get some kills here. What is but going on? I don't know. The Bluetooth is going crazy. Ah, oh, I watched it. Oh. oh, I hit her. Yes, let's go. Oh, no. 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 Right, no. Dead. Oh, free go. There you go, this PC for the money. I mean, it's gonna play anything you throw out at 1080p, stretching to 1440p if you want to. And uh, yeah, that deep cool cooler, the AK620, 
Woo, beautiful in terms of cooling that Ryzen 5 5600. Any higher end CPU you want to throw at it? Let's wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this gaming PC, and for the price, we think it is an amazing deal because while we were able to place games like Cyberpunk and Apex on pretty much max settings and get well over 60 FPS most of the time. So if you want to pick up any of the parts from today's video, links in the description down below will be affiliate links and will help us out. As always, we'll leave some alternate suggestions if things go in and out of stock, but of course, you got to pick up all those awesome, deep, cool products like the case, the cooler, and uh, all the RGB fans as well. So check those links down below, and big thanks again to Deep Cool for sponsoring this PC build. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So this PC right here will actually be for sale at our PC selling business, PCBros.tech, along with probably over 50 other gaming PCs at a time. PCBros.tech is where we sell a lot of gaming PCs, gaming laptops, office PCs, and things like that. If you use code ToastyBros2 on checkout, you can save 2%. Whoa, amazing. Check the link down below. See you guys later. Goodbye. It's the first time we haven't messed that up in a while. <laughs>